Imagine, if you will, a civilization that existed thousands of years ago, constructing architectural marvels with nothing but rudimentary tools. This is the story of the pyramids of ancient Egypt. These mighty pyramids, primarily built as eternal resting places for their pharaohs and consorts, are more than mere tombs. They are a testament to the ingenuity, determination and spiritual beliefs of the ancient Egyptians. Each stone block, some weighing as much as two and a half elephants, was meticulously placed, creating structures that have withstood the sands of time. From the steppe pyramid of Djosa to the magnificent pyramids of Giza, these architectural feats are scattered throughout Egypt, each with its unique story to tell. Their scale, precision and alignment with celestial bodies leave us in awe and wonder at the capabilities of this ancient civilization. Join us as we journey back in time to explore these awe-inspiring structures. Our journey begins with the Pyramid of Djoser, the very first colossal stone building and steppe pyramid. The Pyramid of Djoser, also known as the Steppe Pyramid, is an architectural marvel that stands proudly in Saqqara, a vast burial ground serving as the necropolis for the ancient Egyptian capital, Memphis. This pyramid was constructed around 4,600 years ago, between 2667 and 2648 BCE, under the reign of Pharaoh Djosa. Unlike the smooth-sided pyramids that would come later, Djosa's pyramid is a step-like structure, a design that was groundbreaking for its time. This six-tiered, four-sided structure was the earliest colossal stone building and the first pyramid ever constructed in Egypt. The pyramid was not discovered in the conventional sense, as it has been prominently visible and known to modern society since ancient times. The Pyramid of Djosa set the stage for the grandeur that was to follow. From the Steppe Pyramid, we journey to the Giza Plateau, home to the most iconic pyramids in history. Here, the colossal edifices of Khufu, Khafre and Menkare dominate the landscape, silently narrating tales of a civilization long past. The Great Pyramid of Khufu, also known as the Pyramid of Cheops, is the oldest and largest of the three. Constructed around 2580 to 2560 BCE, it was once the tallest man-made structure in the world, a record it held for over 3,800 years. Its grandeur is a testament to the ingenuity and ambition of the ancient Egyptians. Not far from Khufu's pyramid stands the Pyramid of Khafre, also known as Chefren. Built around 2570 BCE, it is slightly smaller than its predecessor, but appears taller due to its elevated foundation. Its near-perfect symmetry and precision are a marvel of ancient engineering, a tribute to Khafre's desire to outshine his father, Khufu. The smallest of the trio, the Pyramid of Menkare, was erected around 2510 BCE. Although it lacks the sheer size of the other two, it is no less impressive. Its construction signifies the continuation of an architectural tradition that had already stood the test of time. These three pyramids, aligned with the stars of Orion's belt, are more than just tombs for the pharaohs. They are a symbol of the Egyptians' understanding of astronomy, their religious beliefs and their respect for the afterlife. Each stone, each chamber, each passageway has a story to tell, stories that continue to captivate us thousands of years later. The Pyramids of Giza are more than just an archaeological site. They are a spectacle that transcends time, a spectacle that has inspired countless generations. They are a testament to the architectural prowess of the ancient Egyptians, a reminder of a civilization that in its prime was the envy of the world. Next, we visit Dashur, where the Egyptians experimented with pyramid construction techniques. Dashur, a royal necropolis located in the desert on the west bank of the Nile, is home to some of the most captivating pyramids. Here you'd find the Bent Pyramid and its neighbour, the Red Pyramid. The Bent Pyramid, with its unusual bent slope, was constructed around the 26th century BCE. This architectural anomaly is believed to be a result of an abrupt change in angle, possibly due to the unstable ground or a shift in the king's burial plans. Just north of the Bent Pyramid stands the Red Pyramid, named for the rusty hue of its limestone blocks. 
Built around the 26th century BCE, this pyramid represents a significant advancement in design. It's the first successful attempt at constructing a true smooth-sided pyramid, a design that would be replicated in many future constructions. These pyramids marked a transition in Egyptian architecture, paving the way for the true pyramids. As we return to Saqqara, we find the pyramids of Unas, Teti, Pepi Y and Pepi II. Our journey takes us back to Saqqara, the necropolis that houses a treasure trove of pyramids. Among them, the Pyramid of Unas stands out. Constructed around 2375 to 2345 BCE, this pyramid is best known for the pyramid texts inscribed within, offering us invaluable insight into ancient Egyptian spirituality. Next, we encounter the Pyramid of Teti, built roughly between 2345 and 2323 BCE, Teti's pyramid is another critical repository of pyramid texts. These inscriptions are a testament to the enduring belief in the afterlife and the Pharaoh's divine journey. Not far from Teti's resting place, we find the pyramid of Pepi the One. Constructed around 2332 to 2283 BCE, Pepi Ui's pyramid complex reveals the pharaoh's desire for eternity. It's a monument that stands as a symbol of the pharaoh's power and his aspirations for the afterlife. Finally, we come across the pyramid of Pepi II, built roughly between 2278 and 2184 BCE. Pepi II, known for having the longest reign in history, left behind a pyramid that reflects both his longevity and his legacy. These pyramids, though not as grand as the ones at Giza, carry their own unique charm. Each pyramid, a stone testament to its pharaoh, is a chapter in the enduring story of ancient Egypt and its quest for immortality. Our journey takes us next to the pyramids of the Middle Kingdom and later periods. We begin with the pyramid of Senusret II, a ruler of a united Egypt during the 12th dynasty. This pyramid, located in Lahun, was constructed around the late 19th century BCE. What sets this pyramid apart from its predecessors is its entrance concealed beneath a bridge, a design feature intended to thwart tomb robbers. Despite these precautions, the pyramid was found empty upon its discovery in 1889 by renowned archaeologist Flinders Petrie. We then travel to Hawara, the site of the Pyramid of Amenemhat III. Built around the mid-18th century BCE, this pyramid was once encased in white limestone, a gleaming beacon in the desert. Inside, it held a complex labyrinth, a testament to the architectural prowess of the Middle Kingdom. Known since ancient times, it was extensively excavated in the 19th century, revealing its intricate interior design. Our final stop in this journey through time is the Pyramid of Tahaka, a structure hailing from the much later 25th dynasty. Located in Nuri, it was constructed around the 7th century BCE, long after the golden age of pyramid building had passed. Despite this, it stands as a testament to the enduring influence of the pyramid form and the continued importance of these structures in Egyptian culture. Studied in detail in the 20th century, it's a fitting end to our exploration of these incredible architectural feats. Though the glory days of pyramid construction had passed, these pyramids show the continued importance of this iconic structure in Egyptian culture. The Pyramid of Senusret II, the Pyramid of Amenemhat III, and the Pyramid of Tahaka, each in their own way, tell a story of resilience, of an enduring legacy that spanned centuries. These giants of stone and sand are more than just tombs, they're a testament to the power, ingenuity and grandeur of ancient Egypt. As our journey comes to an end, we reflect on the enduring legacy of these architectural marvels. The pyramids, those colossal tombstones of Pharaoh's past, have left an indelible mark on our collective imagination. From Jose's pioneering step pyramid, the first of its kind, to the awe-inspiring Giza trio, each pyramid tells a unique tale of ambition, innovation and power. These ancient structures, built millennia ago, showcase the brilliance of early engineering. The precision and scale of their construction are testament to the skills of the ancient Egyptians, making them a source of national pride and a symbol of human ingenuity. 
As we delved into the labyrinthine corridors of Saqqara's late pyramids, we witnessed the evolution of pyramid architecture and the advent of pyramid texts. These inscriptions, filled with prayers and spells, offer a fascinating glimpse into the beliefs and aspirations of a civilization long gone. The Middle Kingdom and beyond brought us the pyramids of Lahun, Hawara and Nuri. Although less grandiose, they echo the enduring influence of pyramid building tradition while adapting to changing times and resources. The pyramid's legacy extends beyond the borders of Egypt. They've inspired countless works of art, literature and architecture and continue to captivate archaeologists, historians and travellers from around the world. The pyramids of ancient Egypt, standing tall against the sands of time, continue to fascinate us with their majesty and mystery. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time. If you've enjoyed this exploration of Egypt's iconic pyramids, don't hesitate to hit that like button. Your thoughts and insights are always welcome in the comments section below. For more captivating tales from history, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you on our next historical adventure.